VLOOKUP is one of the most used formulas in Excel and one of the most useful also. The reason being that it, it allows you to find data as per your need from a very large set or a very small set. Totally up to you. Without going into too much detail about what all it does, let me start showing it to you how it works and then we'll take it today. So welcome to my e-lesson and in this video we will be learning about the mighty VLOOKUP formula. So what it does is that it allows you to find relevant information based on a basic condition. Like for example, we have the names here, names of multiple people and their sales that happened in January, February, March. Now, for example, if I want to find out what were the sales for Jack in the month of, uh, say, January. So the simplest way is I simply find Jack over here. I do a control F and I type in Jack and then I find next. And I'll be able to see, okay, this is how. This is where Jack is. And I see this. However, what if this data is very long, like it's stretched till here? That is where you'll find a problem. So in that scenario, we can use VLOOKUP. So what we will do is VLOOKUP, uh, I'll keep on explaining while we are doing it. So it starts by typing in is equal to VLOOKUP. And it says that what do you want to search on the basis of? What should be the basis of your search? Well, the basis of my search should be the name, which is called the lookup value. That please look up the name Jack and then we will need to look up the results from January, February or March. So first we asked we look up to look up the name Jack. So we select this name in our answer section over here. That, okay, what are we looking for? Jack, cool, fine. Where are we looking it from? Where is the possible answer? That is called the table array. Well, my possible answer is in this table array. This table, we, let's keep it really simple. In this table is my answer. So what we look up will do, that it will look at this table like this and go from top to bottom vertically like this. Okay. It will come down. Okay. And then it will find Jack. Okay. It says I have found Jack. What do you want me to do now? So I'll select the table comma. And now it's saying, okay, I found Jack. What should I do? Then it's asking a column index number. We are telling it that once you have found Jack, give me the answer in the column number that I mentioned. Like for example, over here, I have mentioned one, two, three, four in the columns, headers above these. So January, name is one, January is two, Feb is three, March is four. So I'm telling that, give me the answer for column number two. I'll tell you why I just said two. So I type in two over here, comma, then I type in zero, which says that I want an exact answer. Whatever is written there, bring that only, nothing else. I press enter and I get the answer 12, which is the Jack's sale for the month of January. Now, how did it work? We look up, went over here, saw what we told it to find. That was Jack. It went over here. It went down. It found Jack in this table. And then it went to column number two to bring you the answer. Now, this columns numbers, this is the most important part. Your column numbers are supposed to start from where your lookup value starts. Like for example, my lookup value starts from here, then it will always be column number one. Anything then next to it will be two and then three and then four. That is very important. Your column number one would always be 
your lookup value and the result always has to be on the right hand side so if i try to do it now for say sam now if i want to find the sales for sam in the month of march i type in vlookup lookup value again is sam which is written over here that i'm what are you trying to find the answer for i'm trying to find the answer for sam okay where can the answer possibly be it can possibly be in this table all right fine select the whole table comma what in which column your answer is my answer is column number 4 why is it column number 4 it is actually it should be third january is first feb is march feb is second and march is third no the column number 1 will always be your lookup value column so this is it so march is actually fourth so i tell it find the answer in column number 4 again sam's name and then i say comma and i tell i want the exact answer nothing close by press enter you get 19 let's see sam 19 in march the same thing it works if you are applying a v lookup in a different sheet also let's try to do it for sam here again for march is equal to v lookup what are we looking up sam comma where is our table array table array is in sheet 1 so i click on sheet 1 i click on this table array comma now we were looking for the result for march for sam so march is in column 4 i go back to my sheet 2 now so it typed in sheet 2 over here i simply type in 4 over here comma 0 bracket close and the same answer is here 19 let's do it for jack for january is equal to we look up what are you looking up jack where are we looking it up from sheet number 1 select the whole table now here itself in this formula bar you can press comma so that you know the column numbers over here so we are looking for the answer for jack for the month of january which is column number 2 comma 0 close the bracket here itself and your answer comes up over here is in the school the same technique can be utilized uh, if you are using a v lookup in a whole new workbook itself this is a whole new workbook see to sheet 1 is totally blank here sheet 1 is this same technique that we used here can be used in that other sheet also we just Paste this. Type in the word say Jack is equal to we look up. What are we looking up for? The sales of Jack in February. I go to the other sheet with workbook and I select Jack February. February is what column number three. Jack February column number three answer is fifteen. So I type in. comma 3 here comma 0 bracket close and you got 15 see so this is how we look up works you can use it on the same sheet separate sheet different workbook does not matter the technique remains the same i hope i was able to explain we look up to you in case you like the video do share it and subscribe to the channel and in the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead Happy learning